Hello everybody and welcome, welcome to another character showcase. Today we are checking out the pure version of Kane. A pretty interesting version of this character. We've got a little knight's helmet here and we're starting with Spirit Sword, which seems very strong. Um, he does have lower damage, so that kind of makes up for it. And then we also have this shield here that we can use. We get slower speed, but we got it, but I think it deflects enemy projectiles. Uh, it seems pretty interesting. I kind of like the idea of this guy. Okay, picks up and throw and blocks enemy tears when throw and explodes on contact with enemy. Uh, the explosion can hurt you. Interesting. Oh, dude. Okay. That's intriguing. Can I... So, only explode if I throw him. It's a shame he doesn't do damage if I knock him into an enemy. Well, yeah, it doesn't look like it. That's an interesting idea for an item, though. I like it. The fact that I just keep repicking it up and throwing it again. Oh, what the hell? I don't know what happened there, but I didn't get my room reward. I got booster box, though, so I'm, I'm guessing this character has some sort of thing where we have a chance to not receive room rewards. I'm get, I kind of understand that. This character is quite powerful. Damn, it's such a shame I can't knock him into enemies. Oh! Booster box there. Ah, oh, come on now. Booster box there giving us a holy mantle charge. The Hierophant as well, dude, booster box already kicking ass, my dudes. It's already doing so, so well. Really? Made me put him in a position where I can't pick him back up. But yeah, starting with Spirit Sword is, is, is a bold choice for a character. It's such a strong item. Obviously, it does put you in a bit of a position, because you've got to be really close to enemies. I want to try and use this hollow chi um, shield. Oh, that was really stupid. I want to try and use the hollowed shield, but I don't know when's best to use it, really, because it's it, def it said it deflects projectiles and gives them my tier effects. So I guess it's not really that worth using until I either need it for defense or I've got some tier effects to work with. Bottle of shampoo, that's good fire rate. But then again, fire rate is also useless with Spirit Sword, I'm pretty sure. I don't think fire rate does anything for Spirit Sword. Oh, all my stuff came back from the, the stuff that got removed followed me to the next floor, I see. Okay, so in that case, I don't really mind it all that much, to be honest. Don't mind that all that much at all. Grants an aura. Um, okay. I don't know if this lasts through rooms or not. I just popped it, because why not? Don't know how I didn't get hit by those guys there, but... I'll accept it. Oh, oh you bastard. I knew one of them would get me. Got a very, very good amount of money to work with here, though. And we can get into our cash room for free with a bomb now as well. Lovely stuff. Let's go do that. As for the question of the day today, I just wanted to ask, like, how many of you guys are actually playing Isaac? Oh, I I'm going to gamble on this guy. Don't be mean to me. That's not mean. That's a them. How many of you guys are playing Isaac while watching Isaac content? Or do you just get... Or, or like... Are you someone that plays it very, uh, like, lightly, or you only play it once and every now and again? Or are you someone that's just never played the game in general and you just like watching Isaac content? Because that was me for a long time. I, um, I watched Northern Lion, uh, for probably, I don't know, probably, like, two years. Like, at least, like, 700 to 1,000 of his episodes before I ended up getting, um... Isaac myself. And I think even then I mainly got Isaac to do my own content. I didn't really get it to just play in my own time. Um, and I feel like a lot of people are probably similar. Um, I mean, I'll pick it up for the max HP. Seems like a weird item. Um, I could go full Zelda and go with the mum's bracelet. Why not? Now I've got so many things to pick up. Crack that open. I don't even know why he's a bomb there. That was just silly, wasn't it? I've just established that I don't need to do that. Ha, get your bomb out of here. Okay, you were easy enough. Lovely. Devil deal here? I don't know why. I think it deleted my room rewards there as well. Um, Black Moon... Yes, please. What was trinkets this here? Memory Fragment. At the start of the floor spawns the last used card room pill. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Um, and false PhD as well. Why not? Yeah, because experimental pill here. I use it. Range down tears down. Tears down doesn't matter. We got some damage for that. And then on this next floor, that 
should in theory spawn again, right? Oh, dude. Oh, dude. We've got something absolutely broken here. The last three. Um, it's counting uh, booster box used uh, cards. So we're going to get a lot going on here. Cool. We're getting some good amount of damage here going on. And a theme, baby. A theme. Any items that will spawn with the root... Any items that spawn with the room are converted into items from the Demon Beggar pool. After two floors, taking damage to this trinket will cause it to tear, spawning two Demon Beggars. Interesting. Don't really fully understand it, but... I'll say interesting and we'll move on. I'm liking the setup we got going on with items right now. I still need to find a better way to use my, uh... Like, if I if I pop my shield now, how exactly does this work against you? I don't know. I, I feel like the shield is kind of mostly a bit useless. I don't feel I'm going to get that much value out of the shield, to be honest, myself. Also, can you see that our blade's been, like, turned into, like, a nega blade? It's red and black now. Let's find the item uh, shop, even. Not item room. <gasps> I picked up a key. Don't like the fact that he spawns, like, right in front of the door. I'd much prefer he didn't do that. Ooh, a half soul heart. How lucky am I? How lucky am I? I did actually try and record um, a few videos before I started recording this one. I just, I think I'm just, like, having trouble getting back into the groove of Isaac or something. Because, um... I tried playing some Tainted Lost as kind of a way to just, like, practice up and, and get a bit better at the game. Just playing a hard character sort of thing. Oh my god, it was bad. I got this absolutely insane run. Like, I had 34 damage by floor 3, and I died to a mushroom poison explosion. And I was just like, this, this shit isn't even worth uploading. It was funny, but other than that, no. So I just scrapped it. <laughs> and I was like, nope. That's enough of that for today. And I thought we'll do a showcase of this character anyways. Um, that's pretty goddamn good considering the uh, setup we got going on right now. Um, in fact, I'm not entirely sure. Restocks the shop, replace everything on sale with items, increase the price of everything. I'll take that along. Um, yeah, in fact, I think that could be really, really good because... It's manuscript is pill or card gives us a half soul heart. If that works with booster box, where when we kill enemies we get card effects, that could be pretty uh, pretty incredible. Killing enemies could be giving us half soul hearts pretty goddamn regularly. Cool. Sorted. Yeah, I'm going to keep hurting myself with this dude. Golden penny. Could give us a lot, could give us nothing. Eh. Pretty much nothing. Away we go. So yeah, we get Verp. We get that. Get off him. And a death card, which I'll just pop in here, I guess. That gave us a half. I didn't actually check with the pills if they gave us half soul hearts as well, to be honest. I should have checked. Right, now I need to keep an eye out for when I, um... When I use a card by killing an enemy. I need to keep an eye out to see if that gives me a half soul heart. Because if it does, we're on to a winner here. It indeed does, baby. It indeed does. Okay. That is very, very good. That puts us in a position where we are going to be getting a lot of free HP. <clears throat> a theme plus um, plus the full moon item is kind of insane. When we kill an enemy, we're just creating this absolute monstrosity for every other enemy to try and survive. 
I actually don't really care that much if I get hit, to be honest, because chances are I'm going to get that health back reasonably soon. Um, Bottled Fairy, isn't that also a Zelda reference? Unfortunately, not that useful for us, because we don't have many red hearts. That could have been really good for a sack room, um, if we had a lot of hearts on us, but we don't. I will, however, I will, however, use the max credit card to see if we can get anything better in the shop here, because that could be pretty interesting. See, there you go. We get Mother's Love, which I really, really like. We get Rogue Planet, which... Rogue Planet is actually amazing for us. So Rogue Planet would normally mean that our tears orbit that planet that's orbiting us. Makes it really hard to hit things. I've done a video on it before. But because we've got Spirit Sword, it just gives us a ton of range. Which is applied to our sword because I've got the range effect sword mod. Very, very nice. Oh, dude. Like I said, please just die. Make my life a lot easier. Sun card. Ooh, a spin down shard. Thank you. The thing is as well, if I use the spin down shard on the boss here, or the devil deal, I'm likely to get another one back. Although, it did say pills and cards. So I don't know if runes will count in that equation. They should, but they might not. Oh, dude, this little fucking... I hate this guy. He's getting on my nerves now. Like I said, at least me hitting myself, I'm going to get that health back pretty easily. Yeah, this is... I don't know about this character. Like, uh, maybe I'm just really, really underutilizing. Um, let's go in here first and see if there's anything better to spin down. I can't even tell what that spins down into, to be honest. I'm just going to do it and see what I get. There you go. Um, yeah, I just don't really know what's what the deal is with the, the, the hollowed shield. I, let me let me go and look at the character sheet and just see if there's anything I'm missing. Because I, I don't know, I find it hard to use. So, um, active. Pocket active with no charge gives you a shield when you use it. Shield reflects enemy bullets and gives them your tears um, and stats. Also pushes enemies. By holding it doesn't let you use your classic attack and slows you down a bit. On second use gives you a sword again. Has a small cooldown. Yeah, uh, Spirit Sword is obviously a fun run, but I think otherwise his character's a bit basic. But, still. Yeah, baby, there comes our spin down. The sun... Beautiful. I'm liking having the sun ready and available for us there. Mini boss is mini dead. Ah, oh, my stuff keeps disappearing. Shop, I think I will go and check out as well. Again, because we got spin down, there's a chance of getting non-shop items that could be very, very good. Um, I mean, also as well, we just have enough money to buy a few items from the shop. We could get some good stuff. Can't ignore the fact that the shop sometimes includes some pretty darn good items that don't particularly belong in the shop from different mods. Which makes me feel like I have to check it out. Cool. What you got for us? Too many options. Mm, big no thank you. And... Yeah, unfortunately, we do not have items there that we want to grab, sadly. Neither grab nor spin down. Obviously, the the likelihood is a lot of spin downs are going to spin down into another shop item. But you can get lucky. You can get ch uh, chances where they like sit on the cusp of the uh, the IDs. See what item we get here. I'll grab a burn heart or two. Hurst hat. Oh. Hurstat or Holy Light? I think I'm going to go with Holy Light, but that means that I need to grab it last so that I get my spin down back the next floor. It needs to be one of the last three things I use. 
And obviously, considering it counts cards that we... Um, it counts cards that we get from... Oh, dude, the keys go missing is sad. C considering it counts cards that we get from Booster Box, we could easily overtake the Spin Down Shard by accident. So, leaving it to last seems like the appropriate thing to do. Otherwise, we will lose it. I do not want to lose Holy Light, because Holy Light is an item that I am very fond of. There's so much money to work with right now. Hey, there's a key, finally. Chariot doing some weird stuff. Okay. Get back, you. Luckily, we can bomb our way into our item room here. Oh, the D3. We know. We know we love a D3. I don't even know if it'll work properly with this. I don't think swinging through the D3 does much. Um, We'll take you. But, I still like D3 nonetheless. It can it can do some wacky things on occasion. Like that. Don't even know where the lasers it's grabbing are coming from, but... So let's go into here. Kill this fella. Sorry to see you go. You're a cool boss, but you're gone now. We'll grab that. We'll grab that. And that. We'll do Soul of Andromeda here, which will take us to this, which is unfortunately full of bit of nothing. <sighs> that is not what I was expecting to get here, but I'm very happy for it. We go. We can grab this and potentially get some good pills here. Although it will use these pills, which I don't want it to do. Okay, so then I'm going to come back this way. I'm going to grab my spin down, come back through here. Pop my spin down on this item, wherever the hell it is. Grab that. Grab that burn heart as well, because why not? We come back over this way. Give you a hug. Back over this way. And then I think if I've done this correctly, I should get... I'm going to leave all those pills. I know that I could get some damage. But I should get a Soul of Andromeda back and the Spin Down Shard back. <laughs> yes, baby. So, once again, we do the same. We move on through. That was a silly bit of damage there. We move on through and we do Soul of Andromeda at the end of the floor. I like this a lot. <laughs> Not how I was expecting this to go. Good, good. We can kind of speed along here. We have a very, very good setup right now to deal some amazing damage. And the holy light alone is very, very nice. Error room teleportation? To be fair, the speedrun strats, the absolutely insane speedrun strats you could run here. Also, I'm stuck. Oh, I got that one that gives you a major fire red and I chariot plus or whatever it's called. Um, like reverse chariot. But you could do some major speedrun strats because you could find that card that teleports you to the error room, pop it, pop nothing else in between, and the next floor you'll get another one of those, which you can then use to go to the next error room, and the next error room, and the next error room, and you basically just skip every single floor. Like, that is the premier modded speedrun strat. This trinket's like, really goddamn good. And I hope to see it again someday. I'm enjoying the cheese that we can pull off by using it in a coordinated manner. You just gotta think about how you use it. Serpent's Kiss, I will take.
right, so now we go and we use our, planet our abandoned planetarium Andromeda, Soul of Andromeda, whatever the hell it's called. The one that takes us to the abandoned planetarium. We go and use that now. And then we go and do our boss. Where the hell is it? I don't even remember. Is it this room here? I think it's this room here. So we come in here. Um, no? Where is it? Oh, it's that room down there. I see, I see. Right, so come over here. We use this. Stop picking up the guy. Oh god, the audio in here is really messed up. Did not know what was going on with the audio there. Um, my spin down is here. And now we have two of our three cards locked in. And we should get them all back. Let's we'll see if we want to use spin down this floor or not. Um, I'll take that. Do I want to use my spin down here anywhere? That will give us 99 cent, but that's not super useful. That's very close to magic mush. That's very close to godhead. Oh, <laughs> you bastard. So close. If, there, if only there was a way for me to get two of these in one floor. But I don't think there is. Oh, that's so annoying. I mean, I do like full mapping. But I think I'm going to skip out, unfortunately. I was two off Magic Mush and two off Godhead. That's that's kind of depressing. But we don't need to regain our spin down if we don't end up using it. In this case, we'll just get our abandoned planetarium going. I'll pop this tattered page again. Do you know what? I'm going to use this at this point because it's going to be hard to come back and fall through here. Dude, these abandoned planetariums are not very good. The abandoned planetariums do not pay off the way I was hoping they would. Ho ho ho, baby. Just, I love how much of an insane cleanup you can do with the Spirit Sword. Just, when you get the right items, especially when you get like 7 damage, that's pretty good damage with Spirit Sword. You can just clean things up. I just love the way you can like walk through a room. I mean, I have to say, the insane amount of range we have right now is definitely contributing. We have a, a very, very high range stat compared to most runs. I'd say, like, 10 is pretty average. So we have, like, double, uh, over double what you'd expect for normal range values. So that is helping a hell of a lot. Of course, we unfortunately went the wrong way. Maybe it would have been good to do boss rush to get the mapping so that we didn't have to deal with going the wrong way. But my my assessment was the amount of time that we'll save from having used it won't be equivalent to the amount of time it'll take us to do boss rush. Not because boss rush would be hard, because the bosses have insanely long death animations that just go on forever and ever and ever. And I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> the boss animations. We did unfortunately go literally every single wrong way, which is... Honestly, to be expected from the womb nowadays. I expect nothing less. Oh, we got a trans beam. What the hell was that? Was that? No, that wasn't the trans one. That was the ace. There, there's... Wait, no. I get confused on these. That one? That one that I, that, I, that I just fired was the trans one, right? And the one before that was the asexual one. I... Hmm... I'm not I'm not as up to date on all of these. I don't entirely remember. There's the there's the one that's like got pink and like an orangey yellow in it. There's one that's like purple and got black or grey in it. I'm not too sure. Right. Beautiful stuff. We got the ducky. Ducky for some lucky. Right, what we got going on here? Um, unfortunately, not stuff that we want to re-roll. 
We'll take this. Do I want to take Pinhead? Does Pinhead do much for me? I'll take this though. Okay, let's go. We just get to keep our spin down at this rate. We ain't doing much with that. You Utoro to... Yeah, I'm just gonna blast through these guys. I don't really care if I take damage. I'm just wanna get out of here. Now we just gotta hope we go the right way. A judgment? Ah, judgment, you devil. Whoa, these are new enemies. Oh, not that we can see them. Oh my god, they're pretty cool. We're taking a lot of damage here. Even our bombs do void rings. Beautiful. Like I said, I'm not all that arsed about um, taking damage as long as it isn't egregious. Because I am going to be gaining... Um... Come on, really? That didn't kill you? Really? None of that killed you? Yeah, I am going to be gaining um, half soul hearts whenever I play a card, so... We're at 30 luck at the minute. It is going to go down as we go through the rooms. The duck item. Very, very strange item. Candy beggar. Okay. Oh, dude. The Stop putting it in front of the door. Make it spawn randomly somewhere in the room. Don't make it spawn literally at my feet. be a much better item if I could have a bit more control over when I picked it up. <laughs> the amount of luck we have with the items we have right now, Holy Light and all that sort of stuff, is uh, proving to be very, very valuable. Up we go. Of course, we're playing as pure Kane. We have to go the pure route. Although maybe you'd argue that you shouldn't go the pure route because you're just meant to, to like heal evil. Golden Idol, pretty bad item, unfortunately for us. Give me that spin down. I guess I could spin it down. Nah, I can't. It spins into the pail. We do not need the pail right now. <laughs> oh my god. I think the beams are going, like, the, the ring of the Athame is going through my D3 and that's what's causing more of these lasers. It looks like that's the case. I'm not entirely sure. Bit of a weird one, to be honest. Bit of a weird one. Okay, good. Didn't get trapped. You made me bomb myself again, but you made me proc a Hierophant, which is pretty nice. Soul hearts galore here, baby. We're at 99 as well for our uh, money equals power. <laughs> the D3 is... It's an absolutely phenomenal item. The sun's really nice here. Sacrifice some heart containers for some damage, but unfortunately I don't have many to sacrifice. I like when you get a bunch of um, Athames on top of each other, it just creates that black ring of death. Oh, hello. I will most certainly trade that for that, because this is an amazing item. Might not get to use it, but if I do, I'll enjoy it, because this item is uh, pretty amazing. Right, you're dead. Good, good. Do you see how crazy this is? Starting a character with Spirit Sword is, is just a guarantee of some, some insane power. Soy milk is not something I want to take. Spins out into Luda. Overwritten by Spirit Sword. Yeah, had a feeling it would be. Wow. That's a lot of the theme. 
I think we have guarantee a theme at 48 luck. I would imagine we would. Seems seems very much like it. Yeah, the duck item is pretty busted if you don't backtrack. You can just get infinite luck that just keeps growing and growing and growing. The world. And avoid going back through the rooms I've already been through. See, if I had Hearst Hat right now, it'd be great. It's a shame I rerolled it. <laughs> nah, I'm still glad I did. Oh man. <laughs> that with the full moon and stuff, I knew that was about to be good. We're also getting a lot of chests right now because of our insane amount of luck. Should have expected that. Dude, I can't... I can't see. Got a locust coming in. Can we get another activation of our active before we go? Again, hard to follow what's happening. I've taken a lot of damage. All good. Boss. Oh my lord. I don't even know what to, how to comprehend what just happened there. How is everything not dead? Okay, there you go. I was about to be really confused there. Last item. The common cold baby. Let's go. I'm taking a lot of damage here, but I'm just going to pretend I'm not and hope for the best. Okay, I keep hitting myself with my Nabu guy, though. Okay, last phase. Quite a few hits to work with here, so we should be fine. There you go, baby. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. An interesting showcase of a cool character. Pretty basic, but I liked him. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.